Today we get to see Hollywood superstar Tom Cruise, chat with space pantomime legend and ISS vet Victor Glover. And of course Victor has featured on this channel many times and he's quite a boy. So let's have a look. Privilege. Please call me Tom. Uh, Tom, Victor, I call you Victor. And, and the privilege is mine. It's so amazing to meet you, even virtually. <laughs> it's great to meet you. Congratulations on your extraordinary career thus far. It's really what you've accomplished. Uh, I have great admiration for. I'm the same, Tom. What Victor has accomplished in his short career thus far has been near incredible. In fact, shall we have a little recap of some of those magical moments of Victor in space, seeing as you're such a fan, Tom? Shall we? Why not? Let's have a look. And what better place to start than have Victor absolutely wreck the, the International Space Station and its reputation with a camera. As we see Victor give the game away here, showing that the ISS, the internal stuff, is nothing but an augmented space pantomime charade. As we get to see Victor's camera seemingly cut through steel bars here. Obviously it's not doing that. Obviously this is an effect of some augmented meltdown failure here. And of course, Tom Cruise is top boy and my old mate Victor is the star of this show. And Victor gets to star in quite a few clips here. As if this wasn't bad enough with a camera absolutely wrecking the ISS and of course the whole space industry just with his one shot. It's only gonna get worse as now we're gonna use a globe to destroy the International Space Station and of course, the globe itself. And now we're gonna look at this infamous clip, which has it all, including, in my mind, probably one of the best before and after space pantomime comparison shots. We're gonna have a look at that in a minute. But essentially we get to see the globe drop here, expose not only these astronauts for being on harnesses, it becomes obvious the way they react to the globe dropping, of course, proving they're one, not in a weightless environment. Two, the fact the way they react, they're obviously on harnesses. And three, who better than Mark van den Heij, Mark van den Heij, far left, than to show us they're on harnesses by trying to save the day here. And of course, in doing so, reaches the limit of his harness ah, and only makes it worse. And of course, as a result of all these fails, we get, like I said, in my opinion, one of the best ever before and after space comparison shots. So let's have a look. So much to see here, so much on offer, all of it damning and all of it great fun. So can you see hurricanes from space? Yes, you can. In fact, uh, as we've been talking up here, you can see the whole hurricane, and that's pretty neat to be able to see it. You can see the eye and how it's forming. Uh, but one of the things that's interesting about up here, when you see that whole hurricane, you're pretty amazed, and you start taking pictures and all of that of it, but then you forget that there are people in danger down on Earth with the hurricane. Now, if that wasn't bad enough, the ball dropping, them exposing themselves as being on harnesses. The before and after shots are absolute classics. Bear with me. So look at the faces. This is before it all goes wrong. After. <laughs> before, look at Victor's million dollar smile. After. Before after you couldn't make it any more obvious if you tried dear oh dear and in this last clip we get to see victor and dr kate rubens expose the international space station as dr kate rubens here has a bit of a problem with the lead of a microphone or a microphone cable as it gets kitched up in seemingly nothing as we're about to see we join the action as she desperately tries to unhitch it as she's become aware that it's actually hooked partly around one of her harness attachments. We know they phase out the harness attachments using special effects, but of course they can't phase out Dr. Kate's boo-boo with the microphone cable. And of course, because of this 
mess up and this expose by Dr. Kate. And of course, we got Victor here as well, starring in this silly charade. We also get to see Victor's million dollar smile again, reduced to nothing. So let's have a look. Dr. Kate desperately trying to unhook. Look now, the cable is attached to seemingly nothing. She knows it. Quick, get it off. It's been snagged onto the harness. Finally, get she gets it off. And now we get to see the realisation of two clowns who have exposed themselves. And of course, a million dollar space pantomime smile reduced to zero. <laughs> Congratulations on your extraordinary career thus far. It's really what you've accomplished. Uh, I have great admiration for